Aye, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Buck's Candid Kitchen. Hot dang. Hey, look here. Today, I'm making a special corn with shrimp, Chef. It's called my Cajun Shrimpy Corn on the Bayou. Anyway, I'm going to show you what, I, what, what all you're going to need, and we'll get started. I hope you enjoy it, and please try to make it. During Lent, this is the best thing to have. Oh, yeah. Watch me, Chef. All right, here's some things you're going to need. You're going to need some tomatoes. About one medium tomato chop. And you're going to need onions. You're going to need a, a medium onion chopped. You know, I chop everything. <laughs> All right, celery, one stalk, chopped. Six sprigs of uh, parsley. Chop them up, Jack. Bell pepper. I got a half of a large bell pepper or one medium bell pepper. Chop it up good. And I got about six little pieces of, of uh, green onions. Go ahead and chop them up real good. You'll need a stick of butter. A little chicken broth, not much, maybe a quarter of a cup. It's something I use in there, my Tony Chasserie's bold. Awesome. Three cans of corn. Watch how we handle this now. This corn's got to be drained, but you save the juice, and I'm going to show you why. Bay leaves. Now, I usually go to Rouse's and get my paprika. Paprika I get from Rouse's because it's just too good. Something else I get from Rouse's also. That's my shrimp. Where else are you going to find pretty shrimp like that? We're going to do some Rouse's shrimp today. All right. Got some garlic powder, chili powder, put a little thyme in it. Well, you're going to see all that happening, I guarantee you. What we got? Got a little salt just in case I need a little salt. And of course, we got to keep the sweat out of my eyes. Yeah, got to keep the sweat out of my eyes. It's about 58 degrees, but you know, a good man sweats, I don't care where he at. I don't care what the thing. Alright, we're going to get down to business. So look, I'm going to set up, focus on the pot, watch us cook. Talk to you at the while. Let's do something good. First thing I want to do is put my butter in there. Start melting it down, baby. Got to melt it down. And you know I'm using cast iron. So it's going to do a good trick. I'm going to use half that stick of butter. I want to save the other half. Oh, my fire a little bit. Perfect.
Onions. Let's go ahead and get some onions cooked a little bit. I'm going to try to sweat them down. Go ahead on, baby. Go ahead on. Try to use this video, use this camera with the wind as it is. You know, the wind is a little tough right now. If it doesn't work out just right, then there'll just be some good old music. Ooh, this already starts to smell good. I'm going to throw some bell peppers in there. Let's drop some bell peppers in there. Yeah. Paco, old Paco going crazy, that old parrot. That sucker going to outlive me and my kids. My great, great, great grandkids are going to have that bird one day. Cook it down, baby. Cook it down. Cook it down. And the onions start to turn a little bit brown. All right. At this point. should be able to see what I'm doing. I love cooking outside, you know. At this point, I'm going to put my little uh, shrimp up here just for a second because I'm going to start draining my corn. That's where I'm gonna keep my juice. Put my juice right here in my corn. in there. I'm only using three cans today. That's going to feed uh, about 15 people good. You know, if they have a, a little portion. Get in there, baby. Get in there, baby. This up. Finish with that for a while. 
You always get a different flavor whenever you uh if you just drop onions in here, you got one flavor. If you cook the onions a little bit to get a little brown in them, you get a different flavor. And I like that other flavor. That's the one I like. I'm going to let that cook down a little while. piece of onion got real brown. It's starting to smell good, but it's going to smell even better in just a minute. Okay, right now, I'm digging into my Tony Shasheries. And this is the bold I'm going to put one tablespoon in it. All right. And now, paprika, Rouse's paprika. That's what I'm using. It's about a teaspoon of paprika. Like old John said, that's for essence. All right, I'm gonna throw a little thyme in it. See them thyme leaves? Got about a quarter of a teaspoon. A little chili powder. People say, why you put chili powder? Tell you what, you go to the store, I don't care which seasoning you buy, which seasoning. You're gonna, every, every one of them's got a little bit chili powder in them. You're not making chili, so don't use a lot. But I like to grab that extra little flavor. All right, a little garlic powder. Good thing I say a little, but I'm about out. I don't want to overpower it. It's about a half a teaspoon right there. Boy, you can hear that. Making that little racket in there, it's frying down right now. And that's what I want that corn to do. Now I'm going to throw a little bit of celery seed, because just celery don't ever just do the trick. Quarter of a teaspoon of celery seed. All right, baby. Let me kind of stir this up a little bit. We still got stuff, you hear that? You hear that little racket going on in there? Yeah, baby. Look at that. See, there's no moisture in there right now. A little butter done got down to the nitty gritty. Hanging on to my corn. Everything's got a little flavor on it right now. Now, right now, I'm going to add the rest of my butter. Let me get that out of this little cup. Do your thing. Get your thing. Do what you're gonna do. You go, you go, you go. I'm not gonna add any salt right now because I might have enough with my bowl. Hey, that's the way it goes sometime, all right? So that's doing pretty good. That butter's melting down. Right now I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of chicken broth. Oh, yeah. Got to give it a little something in there. A little. You know, you always got to take care of this the stuff here. That chicken take care of us, we take care of the chicken. Well, I looked at it. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. 
Now we're going to get down to the brass tacks, baby. Let's get some parsley in there. Let's get some, uh, okay, I'm going to hold back on the green onions for a little while. Tomatoes. Put some tomatoes in there. Tomatoes gonna give me a little juice. If you haven't seen anything yet. Alright. I need to cook them tomatoes down. Forget that's 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 a regular tomato that's chopped. That's not no tomato sauce. That's not no tomato paste. It ain't no puree. That ain't no rotel. Got all that out in one breath. Here I go, baby. Come on now. Now I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna drop my shrimp in with my corn juice. With my corn juice. Go ahead on, boy. Chickens like corn. So hey, we're gonna take care of that little chicken stuff, chicken stock we put in there. Oh yeah, we're gonna take care of it. Got the juice in there. Okay. And right now we're gonna drop some green onions. I'm going to cover this up in just a minute. First of all, I got to put a, two bay leaves. There's one, and there's a second one right there. Cover this up. I love cooking outside. You know, I could cook in in a house all the time, but I'm so I'm, I'm so messy. I mean, hey, I, that's why I've been married 50, 52 years, going on 53, because you know I know when to when to clean my mess. All right, Shaq, let me go dump my trash, let that cook. I'm going to shut this off and I'll talk to you at the while. All right, here we go, baby. As you can see, bottom of the pot there's not that much liquid left in there I mean the shrimps are giving it up any juice you see in there now basically pretty much is, 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 is uh, due to your shrimp the shrimp have a lot of water in them anyway I'm going to shut this down I'll be serving this over rice tonight and I do want a little juice. That's it right there. That little. Gravy, look at that, baby. Put that over some rice. That's my little bay leaf. Let me take that out of there. With my shrimp. And there you got your shrimpy corn. Catching shrimpy corn on the bayou. Get my other bay leaf out of there. I gotta get me another little taste of this gravy. Or juice or whatever you want to call it. I call it my gravy. Damn that good. Woo. 
let this cook a second, about another two minutes. I got one more thing I want to put in there. Let me tell you what. This is so awesome. You see that? It's all just about cooked down. I'm going to throw a half, half a teaspoon in there. So, so sugar. And I'm shutting it down, baby. Shut it up. The reason I put the sugar in there is because usually I'll try to use a white corn, a shoot corn, you know, with a little yellow corn. But today I didn't have any white corn available, and it's a little sweeter. And I gotta check this stuff out. Ah, boy, I got some guests coming tonight. They're gonna love this. A little bit, of, a little half a teaspoon of sugar. That did the trick. That took the place of that that, that white corn that's real sweet, sweet, sweet. That took the place of it. it put me some a little sweetness in there on, on, on top of the spices. On top of the heat. My God. Tony Shastri did his thing. Rouses did their thing. Too good. Hey, this is Chef Book. I'm going to talk with y'all later. Check me out on Amazon. I got a cookbook, two or three of them. Hey, holla at y'all later. Aye, oh yeah, baby. Hot dang. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and you got your thumbs up. Oh yes!